A little bit of a let off, I think, because they've been showing a few problems. They've got to make sure that they control the football and play it at the other end of the football field. Landrukas loses it on tackle number one. Nick Graham comes up with it. Cronulla back on the attack. And 10 inside North Queensland's half. Wade Forrester. Put over on the second. So back into good attacking position again. Trista feeds his pass to Andrew Pierce at full pace. In centre field, Trista elects to run it out to the right-hand side. Healy in behind the line to Russell Richardson. He got away from Smith going for the corner and in to score his second try. Bad defence, North Queensland. He's a strong man, Russell Richardson, but he brushed away from Damian Smith. Scores in the corner and the Sharks out to lead by 10 to nil. Well, got away from a couple of inept tackles there. I think Paul Bowman was the man that missed it. But really, it's all come about via a North Queensland mistake. They were given an opportunity. Nadruku turned possession over. And boy, don't the Sharks lo love to attack. Broken field running. They knew that there was a little bit of an opportunity out wide. The slide being shifted. Trista throwing the ball. But just have a look at a couple of the tackles here. There's the first one that was missed. Goldthorpe, the men at fault. But the next two really were poor, poor attempts. Paul Bowman, the last simply an attempt at jersey grabbing and that doesn't stop talented footballers from scoring and he is a very talented footballer very strong too but something that the kids should be watching here notice how he changes hands with the ball make sure he's got his arm free to, to use the fend and that's exactly what he was able to do and gave it for a very good try second try of the night for russell richardson who must be another player very much in contention for state of origin selection for uh, for new south wales tim sheens and murray hurst the uh, the north queensland coaches knowing that they have a problem or two on their hands here at the moment as well he said cronulla just love to attack from broken play and they're finding plenty of room to do just that tonight Mitch Healy's kick goes wide. No goal by Mitch Healy, but the Sharks lead North Queensland after 22 minutes by 10 points to do. Okay, so take two guys. We are such good guys. Add a girl. You guys suck. Topped with a pizza place. It's the pizza place. Be watching two guys, a girl, and a pizza place Sunday at eight on Fox 8. Restart to be taken by North Queensland. Stay behind it. Let the ball go. With the Sharks leading by 10 points to nil here in Townsville and doing it fairly comfortably. I guess is the sign of a good side. It's why they're up on top of the Premiership with Sydney City. Wally, when you can give up so many good players, your best players to state of origin and still turn in a polished performance such as this one so far. Well, I guess it's something that really has surprised a lot of the rugby league public. They can't understand just how committed the Sharks have been right throughout the season. They're a very well-balanced well, well -balanced side, and they seem to have no problem getting players to fill in and perform to the same standard as the players that they're replacing. Doing it so well. As the kick got away by Blaine Stanley being run back by Brian Jellick the chase led by Sam Eismunger who makes the tackle on Sean Valentine he still ended up in the tackle he still ended up in it and I said don't tackle him draws the penalty for Bill Harrigan who told the player to stay out of it and he went on with the tackle yeah pretty clear cut on that occasion Harrigan's voice very loud yeah, a little bit disappointing for the Sharks to give that one over because they really did look like they had the ball carrier quite comfortably covered a kick from Goldthorpe now gives the Cowboys a chance to launch another raid they've got to make sure that they don't waste this opportunity John Buttergeek puts his hand up be the, to be the first to take it forward. Goldthorpe now away to Hetherington. Smashes into the Cronulla, the uh, Sharks defence. 25 metres out. John Doyle. Day 
Damien Smith to play it. Goldthorpe. Prince. Calling Tassel into the line. Then to Nandrukin. Wanted Jellick to go on the inside of him. Wasn't able to do so. Just too much traffic around him. Goldthorpe again. Ball lost. Put down this time by Buttergig. David Peachy brings it out off his own line. Boy, you can pay a lot of credit on that occasion as well to Russell Richardson, already posting a double. On that occasion, he stopped Noah Nadruku from scoring. A classic tackle right around the ankles. In fact, that's the second tackle he's made on Nadruku, very close to the line tonight, Wally. So he's just having a super game, Russell Richardson. Two try-saving tackles on Noah Nadruku, who is one of the hardest blokes to stop when he's close to the line. And apart from that, two tries. Can't do much more. Andrew Pierce. Oh, does brilliantly to get it back to little Preston Campbell. That was a great ball. Playing well, Cronulla. Now to Healy, the general out there with this man, the captain, E.T. His pass to Colin Best. Put on the toe. Fielded, though, by North Queensland. Chris Tassel from fullback does well to cover that. Good work from both sides. Adam Conley to play it right on the halfway mark. Buttergig's turn to take it forward. Sean Valentine. He's an interesting player, Sean Valentine. Plays for the Brisbane Wests Club, which along with Cairns is one of the two feeder clubs for, uh, for North Queensland. And Wests played Cairns in the curtain raiser tonight. Wests winning that game, but as we see Goldthorpe, caught in traffic. Valentine had actually come up here to play for Wests. All of a sudden found him himself playing for North Queensland instead. Due to some injury worries and here he is again, Valentine. Straight off his shoulder, not played at. The changeover. The Sharks to play it. Eight up from their own line. Nick Graham. Tackle by Hetherington. Ooh, Pierce ran into a high That's tackle from John Buttergig. There's a couple being up that way. You've got to get them down, right? There's a couple up that way from a few of your boats. Yep, up around here. Drop them. That's about the second one from John Buttergig, and I think that's come just as much out of frustration as anything else. Harrigan handling it the right way, but of course Buttergig was the man that put the ball down close to the line. A little bit dirty on himself after doing so. Penalty rightly goes the way of the Sharks, which Healy just gets his composure back a little to make sure of this kick for touch. And finds touch just near halfway. Pierce. Again unloads well. That's the second good offload by Andrew Pierce. First was to, uh, to Campbell. That one was to Healy. Just keeping the Sharks... On a roll, they're 30 metres out. Graham on the inside to Ryan. Gets it back out to Eismunger. And the Sharks are starting to circle again. Stanley, 20 metres from the line. Peachy. Starts to run David Peachy. On tackle number five, he's ten short. Stanley waits his kick into the in goal. Jellick does well to get just back into the field of play. Just made sure he dived over that line so that he was in play. Yeah, smart work. Ryan Jellick knew that if he stood up, he'd be in a little bit of strife. Simply opted to go low. Very, very difficult to expect that he'd be stopped from there. Makes and another break again, Brian Jellick. It was a very well-weighted kick, wasn't it? Perfectly. The Sharks chasing just a tiny bit slow. Play between the ears there. That's where all the speed was. Nandruku almost into space. Just at the last moment, he was picked off in a good covering tackle. Into the end goal, David...